Hey guys, it's Lizzie here. Today I'm going to show you how to create this ripped nail effect. So here's all the products that I use today, but I will write a list of them down below. Now I took some Ben Nye nose and scar wax and rolled that into a small sausage shape. And then what you want to do is just press that in between where your nail meets your skin, just in that groove and press it all the way around the nail. Taking a small amount of Vaseline, you just want to start blending out the upper edge of that onto your skin and try and make it as seamless as possible. Now using a small amount of um, kitchen roll, you just want to blot off the excess Vaseline and take away some of that shine. Now I'm just using my nail to press back the wax on the nail plate so that it creates a little bit of um, a ridge. That way where the nail has been ripped off it will look like there is some depth as the skin around it will now be slightly higher. So there you go, you can see I've done the last three nails. Now take an even smaller amount of wax, I'm just going to press that onto the nail plate. That way it adds a bit of texture and takes away from your nail being as smooth and shiny. And there you go. I'm now using an alcohol activated palette and taking the dark red shade in it and putting this around the outside of my nail. Now at first it does look very oversaturated but we will be taking off some of the excess colour in a second. Using some kitchen roll again you want to blot over the area or you could use a sponge in fact as well just to take away some of the excess product. Now you can see the nails look very sore and um, discoloured. Now I'm just making my own mixture of liquid blood and clotted blood and blending that together with a palette knife I'm just going to press that onto the surface of the nail. Before you start this makeup look you want to make sure that you file down the nails that you're going to use as much as possible and then completely cover them in this blood mixture. Clotted blood on its own was a bit too thick and the liquid was a little bit too thin so I found that this consistency worked really well as it added a bit of texture but it meant it was smooth enough to cover the whole nail. And so there you go guys, that's the makeup look complete so I hope you have fun recreating it and thank you so much for watching today. Take care, bye bye.